Hello, it's Billy from Insanity Samples with a quick tip on how to load instruments that have been licensed away from the contact player model from third party distributors such as ourselves. So with these libraries, we have three main options. We can load via the files tab within contact. We can simply drag and drop our instruments in or we can use the quick load functionality. The quick load functionality, whilst it requires a little bit of setup, is the best in the long run because you ultimately can then reuse your settings over and over again. So once you've set it up once, you have access to it forever. So it's a lot quicker to do that in the long run. Let's open quick load by clicking on this panel here, ensuring it's ticked. Then in the bottom here, you won't have this, of course. This is a developer folder. We can add a new folder, call it what we like. As we're dealing with Insanity Samples libraries, we'll call it that. Then we can choose to separate out into instruments if we're going to be loading in multiple. So we'll go with Haunted Strings 2 here. Now we're ready to drop in the actual instruments. If we head over to Pulse and then click Open on our folder structure, we'll have all of our files listed here for Haunted Strings 2 in this case with our NKI files for the instruments that we require. If we highlight both of those and drag them in, we now have them loaded into contact. If we select one, we can double click. And this will now populate that within the instrument window. At this point, we can call the job done. We can close down our additional windows and we have our instrument ready to go. We can, of course, use quick load to switch into a different instrument. If we wanted to use the effect side of this library, we can click drag and drop. And that will change on the fly as well. So our secondary option here, which is equally as fast in the initial phase, but of course would have to be repeated time and time again if you are using these instruments on multiple instances. So not the ideal way, but another quick and easy way within contact is to use the file structure. So we can go to files, navigate to the folder on your computer where you store your libraries, navigate to the instrument that you want to load, find the NKI within the folder structure and drag and drop. There we are, and we'll load the instrument that way. So that's the uh, additional way via the folder structure within contact. The third method here, which is a lot more crude, but it still gets the job done, is to navigate to your folder structure, probably from Pulse, if that's the easiest way to do it. Then click the NKA file and drag it onto contact. This will also load the instrument. All of these things will work both in standalone and in DAWs. The best workflow is to use the quick load method because of course here you can have all of your instruments listed in one go and drag them all in on the fly as you work on your productions. However, using the file system is also a relatively fast way to navigate these instruments. Okay, just a quick look at loading these instruments in. Head to insanitysamples.com for more information on our work and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.